This is Late Night Lee Talks TV. I'm Late Night Lee and I talk reality TV dating shows such as Love is Blind, The Ultimatum, Love Island, Ready to Love, and Married at First Sight, just to name a few. So if you enjoy watching that type of content, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on when I upload a new video. This is a new channel, so I do appreciate the love and support. Thank you in advance. Now, let's get into the obvious thing that everyone is talking about, and that is the Love is Blind season six reunion. They have pulled out all the stops and they have invited a lot of the previous couples and some people who did not get married on the show, but they have invited them back to the season six reunion. We saw Brett and Tiffany. We saw Izzy. We saw uh, Izzy from season five. Um, we saw Micah from season four, uh, Giannina from season one, and quite a few others from previous seasons. And you know, understandably, we're excited. We're happy to see these couples be interactive with the new couples from season six. But who we are not seeing is Lauren and Cameron Hamilton. Lauren and Cameron from season one, if you are an OG Love's Blind watcher, you know that Lauren and Cameron are the favorites. They are the hands down most favorite couple from the entire series. They were on season one. They fell in love first. There were no love triangles, no messiness, no drama. They were just purely into each other in love. And they said yes at the altar to each other. They are still married and recently celebrated five years of marriage last year. And when the show first aired, or right after the show first aired, their Instagrams blew up. They quickly reached over a million followers. They created a YouTube channel. Uh, Lauren was a content creator. And so um, Cameron was a scientist. So the Lauren, Lauren's uh, profession as a content creator, we can obviously see that she used it to her advantage. She definitely put a lot of content on Instagram and their um, YouTube channel. And, you know, just we were all so in love with this couple and they really are the catalyst to the success of Love is Blind. And it's really odd that we have not really seen them do anything with the show. Now, if you remember Chelsea from season four, who got married to Kwame, she has said that she is working with casting on the upcoming seasons. And we're like, okay, why? Is this something that you, you know, actually used to do, you know, prior to the show? Is that your job? I don't recall that being her job. Um, also, Chelsea was not a fan favorite. Uh, most people did not even think Kwame would say yes to her at the altar. So it's just weird. Why have her get involved rather than having Lauren and Cameron who are the just the favorites of the entire series. Why not have them involved in the show? I remember when you know they first when the show first came out and we were following their journey. Everyone wanted to see like a spinoff, a reality show following this couple and their love. We wanted to see more of Lauren and Cameron via our TV screens, and we did not really see that at all with Netflix. Now, Lauren, being the content creator that she is, got into her content creator bag, and of course, we saw her do a lot of things on social media and YouTube. However, she has not really done much with Netflix. Now, she did host a show on MTV, I believe, and she also hosted a podcast. So this was the first thing that we saw with her on Netflix. We saw that she hosted, co-hosted a podcast on Netflix, a Netflix-based podcast um, called We Have the Receipts with Chris Owens. She co-hosted that and they would discuss, um, I believe, Love is Blind, like do recaps for Love is Blind, as well as other shows on Netflix. And, you know, that was cool, but that was not what we were looking for. We were looking for something with Lauren and Cameron. And of course, 
Nick and Vanessa Lachey did catch a lot of heat, especially for that disastrous season four reunion. So, you know, at that time, people were saying, please have Lauren and Cameron do the hosting. Please have Lauren and Cameron do the hosting and get rid of Nick and Vanessa Lachey. But of course, that was not going to happen. But still, they should have had Lauren and Cameron involved some way, shape, or form. People like Clay and AD, I think, really needed that advice uh, from someone who has gone through the show and found love and took that leap of faith. Can you imagine how things may have turned out if we saw Clay actually getting advice from someone like Cameron? Anyway, just very, very, very disappointing. However, um, Lauren is no longer doing the podcast, the Netflix podcast called uh, We Have the Receipts. It's now only being uh, hosted by Chris Owens. Now, hmm, I wonder why. And of course, with the season six reunion, we see all these prior couples and people who were on the show, but we do not see Lauren and Cameron. Now, I will say they could possibly be, you know, a surprise guest. So maybe they, you know, want us to think that they won't be on the show and then maybe they'll surprise us. I doubt it. Um, I think that Lauren and Cameron are not on good terms with Netflix. I went to Lauren's Instagram and nothing on her page, you know, says anything about Netflix or being a former, um, you know, contestant on or cast member on Love is Blind. That's where most people do. Most of the former cast members from Love is Blind, they do have on their job titles, Love is Blind season, whatever season that they were on. But she no longer has that. And I, I just find it weird that Love is Blind, one of Netflix's bigger shows, and Lauren and Cameron, the most favorite couple of that show from season one, who are still married and very much look very happily in love, why are they not involved in maybe another Netflix show or even Love is Blind? I also think that, you know, they are not on good terms with Netflix and Kinetic Content. Kinetic Content is the name of the production company for Love is Blind. I think that Lauren and Cameron are not on good terms with them and Netflix. And I am wondering why. Um, you know, I'd love to see, I think we all would love to see more from Lauren and Cameron. I think that Netflix, they're missing out on an opportunity by not giving them a reality show. It's just weird. Also, if you remember the other couple from season one, Amber and Barnett, Barnett was in a love triangle. He ended up choosing Amber. They were not the fan favorites because Amber had some drama with her and, you know, so did Barnett. So even though they were the only other couples to get married, they just were not really the fan favorites of that season. It was Lauren and Cameron. But they did say they hated Netflix. They hated their time on the show. They did not like the production company. And they wanted nothing to do with the show going forward. I remember that coming out a few years ago. Of course, the accusations of Netflix and um, kinetic content um, being horrible to the uh, cast members of the show, you know, pretty much locking them in, allegedly locking them in to um, their hotels and giving them zero access to their phones and zero access to even having a key to enter or exit their room. Like it's, you know, just while they were casting, they just want to keep it a top secret. And there was also allegations of them not being fed and only be you know, only given alcohol. So <laughs> previous people have said how much they have disliked their process on the show. So at the end of the day, you know, I can't make excuses for them. They also have pending lawsuits from the season five um, cast members of the show. So it's just a lot going on and allegedly the issues behind the scenes of the camera. So, hmm, I don't know if that's also why Lauren and Cameron are just not on good terms with Netflix, 
but I don't, I don't know. It, it's just weird that a couple who are both into content creation and we can tell that they want to be, you know, on TV and they should be on TV. Uh, they have a great love story and we want to see more of it. You know, it's it's just really weird that Netflix has not used them in any other way on uh, the platform and that Lauren um, and Cameron have not been involved in additional seasons of Love is Blind. It's just really weird. I think that they are not on good terms with Netflix and Kinetic Content, the production company for Love is Blind. That's my opinion. I really hope that That's not true, but there's no other reason as to why they are not a part of the season six reunion when they are the fan favorites for the entire series. Every couple, no other couple can top um, Lauren and Cameron, just just none. And no other couple has had the success and favoritism that Lauren and Cameron has had. You know, it's just... (laughs) Yeah, they were both individually so likable. They were both individually so sweet. And they just really seem like the perfect couple. They capture our hearts. It's just weird to me that Netflix and Love is Blind and Kinetic Content has not taken advantage of how much the viewers love Lauren and Cameron and brought them back. I think that they are on bad terms. There may have been an issue or some kind of falling out. Especially because Lauren used to be a co-host of We Have the Receipts with Chris Owens and she is no longer co-hosting that show, uh, that podcast. That is uh, very interesting and I think it says a lot. Um, We know that there's a lot of bad blood between uh, Kinetic and some of the previous cast members. A lot of bad allegations, allegedly. I'm wondering what happened between Lauren and Cameron Hamilton and Netflix and Kinetic Content for Love is Blind production. Comment down below your thoughts. Let me know if you have seen any interviews with Lauren and Cameron Hamilton discussing any dislike or disdain towards Netflix or the Love is Blind franchise or kinetic content. Now, I believe Cameron did do an interview with, I think, was it Aaliyah from season five? I wonder if the drama from that season may have gotten them on the outs with Netflix. You know, it's just been a lot of drama around that show, especially season five. Comment down below your thoughts. I'm curious. I think that this is just a huge um, lose for Netflix. Why not have Lauren and Cameron come back on the show or do their own show? We want to see more of them and their love story. You know, it's just to me um, a complete waste of a, a complete missed opportunity. 100%. Comment down below your thoughts. Do you think that Netflix and Kinetic Content are on bad terms with Lauren and Cameron Hamilton? I think that they are. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like the video and share as well. This is Leighton Ali. I'm signing out.